extensions and length for days. Days. Okay, so hello there. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Joviana Palacio. I have gotten in so much trouble for not saying it properly. I did get married three weeks ago and a lot of my friends keep calling me out on it. Yes, it is Palacio. No longer the Jesus, but I'm not a new person. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new, Joviana Palacio, and here we do all things beauty with a lot of education involved. So I hope that you guys like it. Today we're doing this look right here. I don't want to call it Christmas. I don't want to call it New Year's. I want to call it holiday glam type of moment. It is definitely a full coverage look. However, I feel like the eyes are something that a lot of people can do on their face and it's not super complicated, but yet it is super pretty. I um, go in on the complexion. I want full glam. I want glow. I want natural. I want flawless. I mean, what else? What else do you need, right? So I'm gonna keep this intro as short as possible. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe. That way you are notified of when all of my videos that are coming up go up for you guys because I do have a lot of videos planned, especially for the holiday season going into the new year. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. All right, so I have officially updated the light situation, hence the glow, yes. So we're gonna start with um, our eyes. Brows aren't done, but that's okay. They don't need to be done. We're gonna start with the eyes. I'm excited. I'm excited to start with the eyes and play with some color. Oh, I'm doing like a double feature today. I did my sister's makeup earlier and I filmed it, which is nice. I cannot wait for you guys to see this video or maybe I'll post that before I post this, but it is very fun being with her. I love doing her makeup because I'm so used to like her face that it's like literally like doing my own makeup. It's so much fun. So anyways, I'm just applying some Urban Decay eyeshadow primer all over my eyelids. That's the Eden primer. And I'm just blending that in with my finger, kind of moving it around, making sure that it is nice and tacky, but also well distributed and I've also started using my beauty sponge to just kind of push that into the eyelid. It's really the best way to just kind of diffuse it and get it all because this just just this does dry very quickly so it's very important that you just kind of work with it very quickly and keep that in mind that it will definitely 100 percent move. Okay so we're using the naked Honey palette. I'm going to play with that guy. And then I'm also going to go in with this guy, which is the Naked Reloaded palette. I love them both. I love the colors that they offer. I just like the toggle between both of them. Naked. Urban Decay has been really good with pigment, pigment to me. Um, I obviously love their primer, so why not use their shadows? All right, so what I want today is like, like the classic look that I just posted, but maybe a little better, a little more glam, a little more done up. Um, go in, and so I'm gonna start off by going in with these three shades right here in the palette. They are named Blur, Boundaries, and Buffed. And I just really, those are like my favorite three shades to just kind of blend together on this big fluffy brush. This is the JH30. I'm gonna take that and I'm just gonna go directly into my crease area and I'm just gonna start doing nice circular motions. Yeah, really pretty. So I'm just warming that up. Like, I'm not crazy. Look at how much fallout there is there. Do you see that? Ah. All right, so tilt your head back. Go ahead and deepen that up as much as you can with the shade. And you might just reach your limit, but at least the color is saturated and then there, you know? I want to keep this smoky and messy, so be messy with it. We're going to clean up what we want to with concealer, primer, etc. but just be messy. Feel free. So, so I'm going to use this guy right here. This is the JH34, and I'm actually going to dip into the Honey Palette, and what we're going to do is we're going to pick up... Yeah, we'll do that. We're going to pick up Keeper and Drip in this palette. Always start by putting the most pigment in the outer corner and then we're going to work from there. So a drip, keeper, perfect blend. And build that crease, that hollow out as much as you possibly can. Like the colors are just 
a little deeper than what our other colors were. Not that much, like it could literally be the same color, but not, you know? It's just, honestly, to build dimension and to get the depth that you want in your eye without having this dramatic, like harshness of lines, clash of the lines, you want to just build with similar colors that are almost the same, but not really the same, unfortunately. But not, unfortunately, like, I don't know. It just takes patience to do this. I get asked all the time, I want to learn how to do eyeshadow. It takes patience with yourself, with the process. It does take the, the right tools, but even with the right tools, like you need to understand that a smoky eye is just gonna do itself. It isn't just a matter of putting three colors in. Like even if you do have the perfect colors, it's gonna take time. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna toggle between two of the shades. So there's Thing in the Honey palette and there is Endgame in the Reloaded palette on Sting. And then I'm gonna dip it very lightly into Endgame because Endgame looks a little, not a little, it looks very intense. So we're gonna start in this very outer corner here, right here. Ooh, and deposit most of that color right there, like literally right there. Now I'm gonna just kind of carve them out a little bit, just not so much, just a little bit. I know, I know. Just a little bit so that I can um, get the shape that I want because I don't want this one to be too dark. I have this thing where I don't like for the face, like the eyes and the lips that can be for attention in the face. And I feel like if you go way too much into the eyes, which I love, like that is my favorite part of the makeup look is eyes then complexion. Um, it makes it very difficult because there's a lot of things that are competing, you know, so you just got to pick one. Um, so we're going to go in and I'm just going to get a little bit of the primer on the back of my hand here. Now I'm going to use a flat brush. This guy here is a BH Cosmetics brush and I'm just going to take some on the back of my hand and we are going to start to carve this out just a little bit. And I'm going to start with the inner corner. You can see that. I'm going to start with the inner corner. I'm going to look up for just a quick second to kind of like stamp my ground, my lace. And then we're going to just very lightly with whatever is left over on this brush, drag that over. And I went to this color Dream Weaver. I tried it the other day and I really like it. And I want to go back into it. So this guy right here. And I'm going to take that with my finger and I'm going to place that right here. Back in with that Sephora brush. And we are going to blend around the edges. And I'm actually going to take this brush here that came with the Honey Collection. And we're going to tap into Endgame, like I said. And we are going to just build this outer corner just a little bit, like it. I want it to flick the way now. And I'm going to take a clean blending brush to just kind of blend that into the outer corner and upwards. We have created our eye shape, and I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do is take my, what am I going to take? Yeah. So I'm going to take my NARS, NARS, my Urban Decay Liner in Zero, and I'm going to just line my lash line as close as possible. After I do that, I almost like to go over that with a black eyeshadow to just smoke it out some, because I don't want any defined lines. Like I want it to be very smoky. I'm just gonna dust off any fallout that I have going on and we're gonna move on right to complexion. So for complexion, you guys know the drill. Um, I'm actually gonna use something a little bit different. So I'm gonna use this guy for my center. You guys know this. This is the YSL Instant Pore Refiner and then I'm gonna use this, which is another one of my favorites. This is the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. For foundation today, I'm gonna do one of the concoctions that I've loved. And I tried out recently in my last video. Loved it. We're gonna do it again. So we're gonna do these two guys together. So it is the Fenty Beauty Foundation as well as the Urban Decay Stay Naked. And I use these two colors in them. So I'm gonna take one pump of each and I'm gonna mix that on the back of my hand. 
I love mixing foundations to just kind of get the like the perfect color. There's only two reasons why I would ever mix foundations. It would be either for color purposes, which is why I'm doing it here. Both foundations are phenomenal formulation, but I just need the right color. And then I would also mix foundations to get the perfect formula. So if I feel like something is too matte and I need more of something in the foundation, I will mix in a luminous foundation to just kind of get the finish that I'm looking for. So I just told you what I'm using to buff this in. I'm buffing this in with a Morphe brush, which I swear is the M439. It doesn't have a number on it, but it is. Like I know my brush. And then I'm gonna push this in a little more with the beauty sponge from Morphe. And I have quite a bit left over on the back of my hand, so what I do is I work from there to just kind of build coverage where I feel like I need it. Okay, cool. So the next thing we're gonna do is actually move on to laying down my concealer. If you've watched my few videos that I have posted, I always go into contouring, cream contouring first, and then I will go in and use my concealer to clean up after. However, I have been loving this new strategy of laying the concealer down and leaving it there so it kind of starts to dry down and it helps with the coverage so that you don't have to add as much product. Like I, I honestly am very impressed and in love with this technique. I saw Harouche do it on her YouTube channel and I was like, okay, let's try this. For contouring, I'm gonna use my Milk Makeup Flex Foundation Stick. This guy here is in the shade medium, I believe, medium tan, yeah. So this is a foundation, it is not a contouring stick. They have just one or two contouring sticks, a matte one and a bronzy one. This is a foundation that I got um, and it was too dark. So I use this to contour and it has done me wonders. So I'm gonna put some on my forehead, just like so. And then I'm also gonna put some right above my cheekbones and then here. And then I'm gonna take some brush. Here. Using a nice blending brush, we're gonna take this and just work it into the hairline and up on the cheekbone. You always wanna blend up and back, never down, never in towards your eyes. And then you wanna work this down below the chin here as well. So I'm gonna take my Morphe Beauty Sponge and starting with the area, the side that I use to blend out my foundation, I'm gonna take that and blend out the chin. Take this moment to really clean up around your mouth. A lot of the times you can avoid a contouring beard if you just take the time to clean up after yourself here. Contouring beards are real. It is a serious thing. Just don't do it. So using the pointed end, I'm just gonna blend out my concealer. And so it is really nice, this method, because you can honestly just Blend and tap and not really move where you place your concealer because it's drying out some already. So I love this for that reason. And what I like to do is just kind of blend up and into my contour that I've already started to add. And then I'll continue this down my nose. We're not touching the sides yet. We're gonna do that when we go into the eye area, but we're just kind of bringing this down into the lip even to just highlight everything down the center. And then for this area down here, what I like to do is just blend the outskirts first. Blend this into my contour, lightly tapping, even fixing this, kind of creating this shape out here with the eye. Use very light pressure, guys. You don't need to swipe. There is no swiping, there's just dabbing and lightly moving towards the area you want. And I leave the inner corner for last because I want the most product slash coverage there. And then we're gonna work that into the nose contour. Right here. Using my Maybelline Fit Me Powder and Fair. onto the lid, whatever I've grabbed, and then I'm gonna work this, pushing it into my under eye area, push. Truly and really push this in. All right, so we're gonna move on with the rest of the complexion and I'm gonna set the rest of my face. 
And to do that, I'm going to use my new favorite setting powder. This is the NYX No Filter Finishing Powder, and this is in the shade Light Beige. Very light pressure on this brush. I'm going to take through and just kind of start to work away the edges of the finishing powder.
ties it all together and I am 100% about a new lip, you guys know that. So thank you so much for watching my channel. I will be posting soon. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. I love to upload videos. I love to have conversation with you guys. I'm gonna try to upload two videos a week. I do, I will, affirmations. I will upload two videos a week. I do wanna upload something um, for New Year's. It's gonna be a little more colorful, or not colorful, more sultry, a little deeper, and then something a little more glittery. But I did want to throw this out there just in case one of those two didn't really fit you. I feel like this could really fit a lot of clients, a lot of, of my viewers that want something a little subtle but still clam and classy. So hope you guys like it and I'll see you guys next time.